so I think we should go back to basics in marketing because I suppose at the moment we're in a little bit of a malaise. We've lost a bit of confidence in the industry and maybe people are probably not seeing marketers as they would have seen them before. We're maybe not building impactful brands as we used to previously and there's a, there's a couple of trends behind that. One of which is our usage of data and um, marketers are now the second least trusted profession behind lawyers and that's partly because of use of data. One of which is fragmentation of media so it's much much more difficult to deliver an effective media plan um, and one of which is ad blocking so we're spending more time in unadvertisable spaces, your Netflix, Spotify, etc. And also people are blocking more. So there's a big, big issue in that where we need to change how marketing operates, I believe, and advertising in particular. So with that in mind, I think the best strategy is simplicity. So it's about getting back to basics and thinking about doing more of what we know works and doing less of sort of this highfalutin tech stuff that maybe doesn't work as effectively um, as previous um, strategies and, and ways of working. I suppose in terms of the five principles that I've been speaking about today of getting back to basics, and doing more of what we know works. The first of which is actually uh, creating an enemy for a brand. And that might seem like a strange thing to speak to Irish marketers about, but when you have an enemy, you can position yourself effectively in the mind of consumers. And that doesn't have to be a challenger to you. It, can't be, it can, could be a competitor, but it could also be a cultural mindset. So position yourself like that. For example, Netflix position themselves actively against sleep. Um, another thing that I'm speaking about this morning is the fragmentation of media and how we need to use media in a more integrated way. And that reflects how consumers are active across many channels, but also there's an ROI benefit to using multiple channels for one campaign. It's the halo effect of using multiple uh, mediums. Another thing I'm talking about, which Les Bennett spoke about this morning, uh, was the benefit of aiming for fame. And um, Brands that aim for fame tend to over-index in terms of profitability and market share and loyalty, etc. So that's a huge thing. But also when you take a risk, actually the, the downside of marketing is capped. So it's very rare that a campaign goes so badly that it has a negative effect on sales so you might as well aim for fame and take a wee bit of a risk. And then the other things I'm, I'm speaking about is actually the benefit of mutually beneficial partnerships. So we see a lot of influencer work and sponsorships and activations, etc. that really feel not very credible, not very authentic. What I've spoken about is almost a triangle approach. So what's the benefit to the brand that you're working with? What's the benefit to the partner or the sponsor? And what's the benefit to the fan involved? And when you look at that um, in a sort of really credible way, I think that delivers a really strong return on investment for sponsorships. And then the final thing I've spoken about is a lot of creative you see now is perhaps not very well branded. Um, so how many times have you seen a TV advert that you think is really funny or sad or emotive and you think it's great, but you don't really know who the brand actually is. Um, so what I've spoken about really is you, knowing what your distinctive asset palette is. That can be logos, it can be your brand, it can be colors, it can be typography, anything like that. Using that in a really sort of effective way, but bringing it to life in multiple different Way. So Guinness would be a great example of that, Jemison would be, would be a great example, Fulfill would be a great example and the brand that we've worked with, Brennan's I think are a good example of that as well. So that's really the focus today and I think if we can get those five things right, they're quite simple things, they won't work for every brand but for most brands some of them at least would work. If we can get those five things right then I think we can get back to basics and start to make brands more relevant and culturally impactful again.